the Republican convention is kicking off in Cleveland. Donald Trump is expected to accept the GOP's nomination for president. CBS's Kenneth Craig is in Cleveland with a preview of the week. Day one of the Republican National Convention kicks off today. This is a real opportunity to just control the dialogue, control the narrative, and, and, and spend your message. I'm Today's message is all about national security and immigration, but the overreaching goal throughout the campaign will be to soften Trump's image and introduce vice presidential candidate Mike Pence. Trump told 60 Minutes he selected Pence to help bring Republicans together. And now they're saying, what a great pick. You see the kind of reaction. He, he has helped bring the party together. Many political pundits describe the chemistry between Trump and Pence as awkward, but Senator John Barrasso, who worked with Pence in Congress, says their differences will work well together. Donald Trump's speeches are you know, lofty and big picture, but Mike's a guy that can dig into the details and get the job done. Presidential nominees typically don't appear at a convention until the last day, but Donald Trump isn't your typical candidate. He plans to take the stage tonight to introduce his wife, Melissa. Melania when she speaks. She came into the country. She gained legal status, as the expression goes, and she's a terrific person and a terrific woman. And she is going to I'll bet she gives a great speech. The rest of the lineup includes politicians, the star of Duck Dynasty, and former teen heartthrob Scott Bayo. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Cleveland. Melania Trump will be the first Trump family member speaking. His children are slated to also speak during the four-day event. Happening today, Senator Jeff Sessions is expected to be one of the primetime speakers tonight in Cleveland. The GOP convention program says that Sessions will focus on today's theme, Make America Safe Again. Sessions was the first senator to endorse Trump and is currently serving as the chairman of Trump's National Security Advisory Committee. New at 